what is going on YouTube Jason again for another video so as you can tell put in the thumbnail but yeah anyways so I guess we'll do a little recap on what has gone on in the past I want to say two months maybe that I have uploaded um, so I guess the last time that I said that I was gonna up or Last time I uploaded, I said that I was going to go to San Antonio to go race. Um, so we went to the event. And long story short, but we just had problem after problem after problem with the car. So, I mean, good thing is nothing broke. Car went onto the trailer at, after the event under her own power. Um, they didn't have to have anybody help push or anything like that, so that's a good deal. Um, so as far as the whole all-wheel drive system goes, um, everything worked perfect. Um, nothing binded up, nothing broke. Um, so I mean, I guess it's a win-win situation in a sense. But after the first of the year, we are taking the car to get dynoed, um, so we can actually, I guess, do what she needs to do. To run right and yeah I mean just it, yeah it was just a plus of fuck but anyways um, so that's that i um, been working on customers cars doing injectors um, I mean just been busy and then with my day job and stuff like that so yeah but as you guys can see we got a shop now so instead of working out of the garage at the house I actually kind of moved out and got a shot. So this is where a lot of the, I guess, filming and stuff will be going on. Um, be working on a lot of cars here. Um, as you can see, got the EG still, got the all-wheel drive car, I got my CRX, and as you can see right here on the floor, we got a turbo kit we are fixing to put on my brother's car. Um, fixing a turbo that. Uh, tomorrow which is the day after Christmas we're gonna put that on um, he's already got uh, skunk 2 um, valve train titanium springs all that stuff he has uh, some Kelford 176 T cams in the car so like those cams are technically needing that and that to breathe because right now has a rough idle really rough idle um, so yeah, with those, I guess with the turbo and everything, it'll push more air in, which should, you know, I guess it's what those cams want is more air. Um, so what else is there to talk about uh, to kind of update y'all on what has going on or what has been going on? Um, I mean, as far as, like I was saying, the all-wheel drive stuff that goes down at the track, um, she, I mean, car launched amazing car I mean she shot out but it was like whenever you'd hit second gear the car would just like fall into its face and then like you'd feather it and it'd come back on real hard but the minute that you went wide open throttle it was like just like no I'm not doing it so I mean I did a couple of passes on the street here in Amarillo before we went down there and I mean the car did fine she went from first to second and it was like a solid one two and then when we got down to the track it was like no I'm not doing it so I mean I don't know if the just car just got stage fried or I have no idea, but yeah, it was just kind of, I guess, upset me. But at the end of the day, I wasn't running right. My tuner wasn't running right. The other all-wheel drive car that we were working on wasn't running right. Um, I mean, it was just, it was like it was just out of our comfort zone. So yeah, but I guess we're going to make it through, going to make 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 I guess make what's gonna work out for us and now that we have a shop I'll be able to you know I got I mean uh, you see right there I got AC heater uh, we have a bunch of got a bunch of uh, outlets as you can see a bunch of outlets um, back here or back here on the uh, on the breaker panel back there we got 230 and 240 so yeah, um, my buddy that does all of the fabrication work and everything like that, um, I guess uh, we're supposed to go half on the shop, and 
I guess after the first year is saying something that he wants to kind of join in or whatnot. So we'll be doing a bunch of fabrication work. So like from that corner all the way down back there will be kind of his area to where he can fabricate because he has a lot of stuff that he needs to bring to fabricate. So I mean, it's kind of a, a nice little area. And then I was kind of thinking this car is fixing to get out of here. I was kind of thinking like just this area right here be um, like, I guess cars are gonna come in and out, in and out. The race car will stay in here. The CRX, I don't know if I should just put it outside and leave it outside. Um, that's the way it was at the house, um, but we don't know. Like I said, the CRX don't take up much space, so if anything, I could probably put it somewhere right here or over here, or we have on the other side of the shop, like a little side area back there. Uh, I'm gonna put some cameras up. That way, I mean, you know, you never know what can go on. And then up here on the top of this uh, restroom, um, I kind of want to put like a little loft up there to where uh, we could, you know, kind of store stuff up there. Um, I'm gonna get some better lighting in here. Probably put two more, two more lights, or maybe three. I'm not sure yet. Uh, gonna bring all of our. I guess tools and everything over here from the house, my Milwaukee uh, toolbox, uh, just a bunch of parts that uh, I've had over the past, I want to say 13, 14 years um, that I've been, you know, doing a bunch of this stuff. Just bring all that stuff over here and just put it up. And I guess, you know, if we need it one day, we need it one day. Um, I mean, there's always, I have transmissions motors heads I mean just a bunch of stuff that I've accumulated so anyways guys I'm gonna stop rambling and uh, I'll let y'all go if y'all want to see more content go ahead and give this channel a like help me share it and hit that subscribe notification that way y'all can just see every time that we upload see what we got coming yeah guys catch you on the next one stay safe peace